So what does the Trump re-election mean for Bible prophecy? Some people are asking, will things get better or will things get worse? Well, according to Trump, things are going to get better. And this is what he said. This will truly be the golden age, golden age of America. That's what we have to have. Every single day I will be fighting for you. So will we see a new golden era? Well. Although the Bible does say that there will be hard times coming and it does say that there will be an antichrist system that rises before the return of Christ, the great falling away of the faith, the Bible does actually say that there will be a great move of God with the faithful remnant. You're going to have people who have turned away from God, but you're also going to have a strong remnant who will be used mightily by God, much like the two witnesses. He says that with them, they will be given power to do amazing things. The book of Daniel even says that in the end times, the people of God will be strong and will do exploits. But of course it says that the Antichrist will corrupt a lot of the world to be even more wicked. So you see, there will be this great divide that will happen in the end times. Those on God's side will grow in power and will have mighty Holy Spirit feats happening. Those against God will grow even more wicked. So there is going to be a great division. So are things going to get worse? Well, I think if you're on God's side, things are going to be pretty powerful. Remember, there's going to be this great latter rain coming. And we have a documentary that we are releasing on the 22nd that's going to really break that down in scripture. It's going to show how throughout the Bible, there are parallels how before the great harvest, before the return of Christ, the Holy Spirit will do a powerful thing with his people as a great witness to the world. And so, Trump, who is someone who says that he's going to allow free speech, someone who says that he's going to champion those who are holding up the Bible, well, we will see what will happen. But perhaps what we will see in the next few years is a great window of bold proclamation from the church before things heat up. And if you look back at our content in the Signs of the Times playlist, you will see that we foretold that the work Jared Kushner started in Israel must continue. And this is why after Trump's recent re-election, Benjamin Netanyahu has already expressed excitement on working with them again. There are certain things that must happen. And so, this is why, for instance, every ballistic expert has said that when that assassin tried to take Trump out at that range, even a novice would have been able to make that shot easy. But he was preserved, not just because of America, but because of what you will see happen with Israel. You will also see the rise of technology that we have only seen in sci-fi films, biotech, human upgrades. And so it is not coincidence that Trump's right-hand man right now is Elon Musk. It will radically change our capabilities. Yes, it will, it will enable anyone who wants to have superhuman cognition. And then people may decide that they want to retain their biological self or not. I think they'll probably choose to retain their bi biological self. Versus some sort of Ray Kurzweil scenario where they download themselves into a computer? You will be essentially snapshotted into a computer at any time. If your biological self dies, you can just probably just upload into a new unit. You will be essentially snapshotted into a computer at any time. If your biological self dies, you can just probably just upload into a new unit. Literally. Pass that whiskey. <laughs> this is, we're getting it's, crazy over here. Because tech is now offering the possibility of immortality. Can that play a role? But yes, there are many people lining up, preparing themselves to live immortal. Look at what Kushner has to say about that. The one thing I've tried to put a priority on since I left the White House was, you know, getting some exercise in. I think that there's a 
a good probability that my generation is hopefully with the advances in science either you know the the, the first generation to live forever or the last generation that's going to die the last generation that's going to die and so we need to keep ourselves in, in pretty good shape we haven't posted in a while because we did not want anyone to say that we were trying to influence the election one way or the other. But now, after that Latter Rain documentary is released on November 22nd, we will have regular updates because Bible prophecy will be jumping off the pages at light speed. And I, for one, am excited for it because we are one step closer to the return of the King. Peace be with you.